sa malungil um, lai mi trasuel may lang ma uh, na moita trulbo ra eruklok may lang yung November 20 2023 ekita nga ra sel satellite officer ra uh, orior el al sil sa kadumbo review sel Senate Resolution 11163 el gire la presidential appointment ra Dr. Gregory Dever, El Mosur, El Member of the National Hospital Authority Board of Directors. El Al Dartiang, El Introducer of Good Senators, El Dartiang, Magot, El Maria Tang, El President of the Senate, El Senator Baules, El Dartiang, Maria Tang, El Senator Cecilil Eldebe, El Floor Leader of the Senate, El Dartiang. Yang hari ni ada gel imol dari senat, el senator, senator atau kalau senator rupai kiko inau, el ngartiak, yang gel ngarsel el kadak mek, el senator atau kalau senator rudim, el ngartiak. Kalau ngara katruga vice chairman ra, kami tiga dah hil dan social welfare, yang atau kalau senator tabluan, yang senator quarter chair tel kami ti. Eh, kalau lah me dong ok, lawan kita, atau kalau vice president tera senator senator Kerai Mario. Eh, tak tak pas kau, orang itu nampu opening statement tera kau. Eh, minta tu serang ni aku rakyat tera kau mulbal me, minta tu sim give on mungkin. Besulah. Kamu salah, chairman. Quote and uh, uh, vice uh, uh, the president and vice president and floor leader and uh, vice chairman of the committee and senators. Uh, I have with me my support staff, uh, my wife Martha, of uh, 53 years. Okay, she's here uh, just to make sure uh, I don't get beat up. <laughs> uh, Thank you. My uh, opening uh, remarks are uh, short. Uh, just uh, briefly, uh, I was asked by the, His uh, Excellency uh, uh, President Sarangal Whips Jr. Uh, if I would serve uh, on the committee. And uh, uh, to be blunt, I've led a, a life of uh, service, basically. And you know, when a president asks you to do something, it's hard to say no. So I said yes, I would. So that's. Uh, why I'm here today. Uh, then I uh, had the opportunity to read the law uh, for the first time and uh, uh, then answered uh, the questions that uh, uh, your committee uh, uh, submitted to me, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my response to the uh, president was, uh, I'll do the best uh, I possibly can. So I come here with that and an open mind. And uh, I think it would be better if I responded to questions. Uh, uh, and if it's okay with you, uh, I give it back to you. So, uh, uh, Dr. Dever, I think you have to give the time to give the time to give the time to give the time to give the RPPL 11-16-16. Ito ang title niya, Belaw National Hospital Authority. Hindi po po tulad sa Trigel, Trigel Milus, na huwag tamil ala, na Blur Belaw. Ang lolo niya, sa Aringol 6, hindi lulwa sa nga alela, sa nga alela, Amter Belaw. Ang lokmul, huwag sa OTPL, Aklisiel, maklung yolen, aklangar, na Adar Belaw, logyo ala, Mang mukut muklaw guru, elol ng sewa, elol ng sewa amt maluben dalo raol. Sir ong erul Constitutional Convention, yung malisel luyum ong yawalo malod el mora watemelala, el mlo partes sel Article Four maluben watemelal lamal. El wasa tigingel o si sa klen, maurerel o gobila sel, el bolong at mukla amt terbelaw. El moral bet el other belau el dia kalau orang logi wala. Bagi il tablo el kerbila tahu rahel dengan orang buat melala. Imong amsal dera tahu rasel, ya imong atau amsal dera tahu rahel. Mengulek segi dia, etiagi del bilam lamut mukluasim lamut time 
el dongo a tora ogrul, el oridir a tora helda, el de sisi a tora helda. Ma tegi del pelado nacional hospital adoriti, am no mot mokul wase. Dongo a secondary care, el de mokil maoloid a ministrir a helda. El margón es el de ministrir a helda, el maralo ungra a tora helda. Prevención, health promotion. Mereka dia kalau sports level tadi el authority, el mukut mukla guru, el moral level where, ya bah, tora ikal cases el refer ella, boleh si sub el dengar bela, el mukut mukla mau do del mau itral sela belur bela. Mungkin segi dia mereka yang tiad tadi del RPPL 11-16, ah, mlo gimera lo set tadi del board. Tiada authority. Abu tu mungkin mungkin ini mahu semai atau nampak sendiri dengan tuh teragak rencana government. Dengan bawa bawa PPUC, malu dengan PNCC. Kemal mall melengar rencana government, lengar lela amt, lengar abu tu melala. Dia kalau sebel secure sorah resources from the healthcare fund. Mahu ul mungkin 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 emla ni akan susul decision atau sendiri dengan tuh tuh dengan ilmu lah outside dengan rencana government. Mang sel tadi dal RPPL 11-6, amor niar tadi mel board member, tinggal board member aya gel initial term ti ramo staggered, di after segi dal orang iru lamluk kan di mo four years. Tadi dal tinggal dal five members, a tether ti lagi dal citizen rebelo, biar terung a si la drama dal blue. Ya minister a ex officio, el di ganet tera ti al board. El mora me ati al Ministry of Health mencibir el sera information. Tiga y tiga del board a mo hire en tiga del mo hospital administrator en tiga del mo rute es el everyday everyday function el lo el tau tiga el palacios lo el tau de tiga el board. Magawe Doctor Dever is the hotel at el el appointed by President el el mer tiga el board. Makti aw era ka mga olgyon maskaw. Dito ko lingin tayo ng senator si Isabella, Dr. Dever, ang wadi briefly, eh, ebol ko over again questions. El wasing ramle ko ra of the swim, eh, but opening mo ra answers and questions. Ngayon yung question, sen ko ba ka pili? May yung answer ako? Sa mga di, one by one, eh, Malgora semudah bol belak tak kalau tiada 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 gora introduction bol gora belak tak lagi lagi the question lagi gora eh itu gora questions and answers. Ya ini senator semua mungkin lagi ngaji ngah question orang ni pun saya di interrupt di mungkin leh talk tak? Okay, amai ke gora? Okay, so ada bok mula gora tu gora nampar. Number one. Pursuant to Section uh, 353 of Title 34 of the PNC, the President of the Republic of Palau has informed the Senate uh, that you have been appointed as a nominee to serve as a member of the Belau National Authority Board of Directors for a term of four years. Uh, number one, uh, A, do you acknowledge the presidential appointment? And the answer is yes. If so, are you fully committed uh, to serve the full term uh, for which you are appointed? And the answer is yes. Uh, question two. Please explain how your experience to date has equipped you to fulfill the responsibilities and duties required of the Board of Directors. Answer. I have demonstrated a past record of senior executive administrative and fiscal responsibilities for the following programs, all within the Pacific Basin region. Number one, uh, Director of Pacific Basin Medical Officers Training Program, Johnny Burns School of Medicine, University of Hawaii, 1987 to 1996. Average budget, $10 million to $14 million per year, times 11 years, supervising a staff of up to 20. Uh, number two, Director, uh, Bureau of Hospital and Clinical Services, Ministry of Health, 1999 to 2009 overseeing budget at approximately $500,000 per year, supervising approximately 25 physicians, 40 allied health workers, over 100 nurses when the Division of Nursing was under uh, the Bureau of Hospital and Clinical Services. Number three, Regional Human Resources and Health Coordinator for the Pacific Island Health Officers Association, uh, PHOA, 
budget of varying up to a million dollars and supervising up to five to eight staff and consultants depending upon the grant funding. Uh, as the regional, I developed regional human resources for health training, including upgrading uh, human resources HR departments of regional ministries and departments of health, of which uh, the Ministry of Health of Palau was uh, one of the major uh, clients uh, to assist me in this uh, uh, project. Uh, I was a project investigator and administrator as uh, the Ministry of Health Director um, for the uh, Palau Hospital Bioterrorism Preparedness Program uh, from 2003 to 2009. Approximately overall budget uh, somewhere in the area of $1.5 million. Upgraded uh, Bailao National Hospital's emergency preparedness capacity, which included a lot of construction around the emergency room as well as setting up a uh, uh, infectious uh, disease uh, uh, isolation center. Uh, I was the project investigator and uh, director for the Palau Area Health Education uh, Center called AHEC. It's a John Bird School of Medicine and Palau Community College uh, program uh, from 2002 to uh, currently 2023. Uh, and this uh, helped to uh, develop human resources for health training and uh, the overall budget over the 22 uh, or three years has been about $5 million. Uh, I've served on multiple hospital and health related uh, committees, recent committees, the Palau Board of Health Professions, uh, first from 2006 to 2022, uh, and then uh, I was chairman of that for at least 10 years, and then I've been a re, uh, uh, reconfirmed uh, to that board uh, most recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I'm currently a voting member of the uh, Ministry of Health and Human Services Medical Referral Committee uh, from 2020 to 2023. Uh, question number three, do you have any business or financial connections uh, or commitments that may give rise to a conflict of interest as defined by Section 6 of the RPPL 5-32, uh, quote, the, the Code of Ethics, uh, unquote. Uh, no, I don't think so. However, uh, for the, to be uh, fully transparent, um, I do have a continuing uh, uh, contract to train community health workers with the Ministry of Health and Human Services, uh, the Bureau of Public Health. Uh, two, I've uh, been nominated again to serve on the Board of Health Professions and uh, was confirmed. Uh, I am still voting, I'm still a voting member of uh, the Medical Referral Committee and I'm president of the Rotary Club of Palau through uh, July 2024. I don't foresee any uh, conflicts of interest uh, in that position. Uh, number four, are you currently a member of any government board authority or non-government organization? IFES, uh, please provide details. I'm currently a member, as I stated, of the uh, Medical Referral Committee. I have uh, been recently nominated again to serve in the Palau Board of Health Professions and confirmed. Uh, the director of uh, PCC, Palau AHEC, and I'm currently the sitting president of the Rotary Club, so I just repeated myself there. Uh, question five, do you currently have any medical or physical conditions that may hinder your term or ability in fulfilling performing duties required as a board member. Is there anything that you think may conflict with your appointment uh, that you would like uh, to uh, disclose at this time? Uh, I mentioned that I'm 77 years old and have uh, various chronic conditions. I don't foresee any of those uh, conditions from hindering my ability to fully serve on the board uh, for the next uh, four years. Uh, what are your goals and objectives for the first year if, if confirmed? Okay, so. You know, the first thing I did was read the law once, twice, et cetera, and then I, I, I thought about it. The overall goal within the directives of RPPL 11-16 uh, is to establish an effective independent authority that will ensure that Bailao National Hospital is a cost effect, in a cost-effective manner, provides quality, secondary, and I should say early tertiary uh, level care uh, for the people of Palau and limit uh, costly uh, tertiary medical referrals by strengthening uh, Bilal National Hospital's local inpatient 
uh, service uh, capacity. The objectives of that goal include getting organized as soon as possible, convene the board, choose the chairman and other officers, begin establishing uh, board policies and procedures. Meet with the Minister of Health and his team early on to develop a sustainable, sustainable operational plan and a transition uh, plan. And uh, I've already met with the minister and uh, uh, with me was, uh, I asked, uh, was Kevin uh, O'Keefe, uh, the uh, economist who's been uh, advising the Freely Associated States over the years, and uh, Jason uh, Obershawn because of their uh, background in identifying uh, resources uh, uh, to help the islands. Um, and the third was uh, develop a budget, hire an administrator, address uh, the transition uh, challenges, which includes developing a transition plan, which includes uh, the preconditions that are outlined in the, uh, the law. And follow the roadmap uh, are outlined in our PPL uh, number 11-6. Uh, what are your thoughts on the existing law uh, of the board, uh, RPPL 11-16? Are there any programs or policies that you'd like to implement uh, during your term as a member? And uh, this is what I think, and I still think this, in general, uh, the law itself is a good roadmap. Uh, the operational planning and transitional planning may be beyond uh, the currently current capacity of the ministry. Suggestions on how to get funding and assistance are in the question 13 below. I might add that in meeting with the uh, uh, minister, uh, he informed me of uh, how he has reached out to ASTO, uh, the Association of uh, Territorial and uh, State uh, Health, State and Territorial Health Officers, uh, to help him with uh, uh, feasibility-like or, or implementation-like uh, planning with regards to uh, uh, implementing uh, uh, this law. Uh, please uh, share your thoughts on how to enhance secondary and early tertiary care in Palau and explain how this legislation can strengthen primary preventive and public health uh, uh, pro programming. Regarding off-island medical referral data, the top three diseases by cost is clear. Number one is cancer, uh, which in parentheses uh, includes most uh, patients and is the most expensive. Number two, cardiovascular pulmonary disease, and number three, orthopedics. So I went uh, uh, disease uh, category by disease category, which influences off-island uh, medical referral. Uh, for cancer uh, tertiary care, I think uh, this is uh, probably well known to the uh, committees in health. It's a, it's a priority uh, to establish a chemotherapy unit at Bailao National Hospital to con cut down on the time spent off island for chemotherapy treatment. Uh, patients uh, routinely who uh, say go to, let's say Taiwan, they have to uh, be there for about six months after they are diagnosed. Uh, they receive sur surgery in some cases, uh, irradiation in some cases. And then many go on chemotherapy reg regimens, which are six months or longer. So it's quite expensive for them to stay there. Uh, they, many have to uh, uh, be at their own expense uh, because of uh, the crowding in the, uh, the rooms uh, that are reserved uh, for the medical referral patients. And uh, you know they're away from their loved ones and uh, it's extremely disruptive. So if we can get them tr uh, in a treatment pl plan back in Palau, uh, and by Zoom and telemedicine, con uh, contact our local physicians who are quite capable, uh, can contact uh, the oncologists, the cancer uh, specialists uh, in uh, Taiwan, then that would be a good plan. The question is, is uh, increasing the capacity of the pharmacy and also the capacity of the laboratory to support uh, not only uh, diagnosis, tissue diagnosis, but uh, the blood products that are sometimes needed for patients who are on uh, the very uh, 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 caustic uh, uh, chemotherapy uh, uh, drugs which uh, affect uh, uh, the production of blood and uh, et cetera. So, uh, and I know that's been discussed many times, so I thought we'd bring up that up to begin the, uh, the discussion again. 
Um, secondary care for under cancer would be to establish protocols, particularly in women's health clinics, for the diagnosis of early uh, cancers. And the reason I say that is uh, women's reproductive cancers uh, uh, seem to over are overrepresented in the uh, numbers of uh, cancers uh, that need to be set off island. So I think. Uh, I think I quoted that uh, in this year there has been 20 people sent off island for cancers. About 15, 14 or 15 of those are uh, women with uh, cancers of the ovaries or the omentum or uh, the cervix, uh, etc. So women's cancers are being overrepresented in, in uh, uh, the Republic of Palau. So the idea would be for secondary care is to try to identify who these are and get them treated as soon as possible so that maybe they don't need second, uh, tertiary care. But if they do, at least it would be, instead of being stage four, they'd be stage one uh, in, in their cancer. And then of course this uh, primary preventive care, uh, the work of the NCD units to immunize girls and women uh, for the human papilloma virus, uh, HPV, and promote weight loss. And weight, there's an association between uh, obesity and, and cancer, and educate women in, uh, on s s the cancer's early signs like menopausal bleeding in uh, post-menopausal women. Um, so uh, I, I, I think discussed with the chairman about the, uh, the one of the rationale for developing community health workers who would go house to house, particularly female uh, community health workers, is to uh, discuss uh, uh, with post-menopausal women say in their 50s, and ask them uh, in a privacy, uh, are you bleeding again? And if the answer is yes, many of the women are too embarrassed so they don't uh, come forward until their cancers are quite advanced. So uh, there is there is a role for primary prevention as well as uh, secondary prevention. Uh, the second category uh, in numbers to be uh, sent off island are those suffering from cardiovascular and uh, pulmonary disease. Uh, we can develop a, a secondary and tertiary care, uh, and the way we do this is develop diagnostic and treatment protocols for secondary and, uh, and tertiary care uh, diseased uh, patients. Uh, select patients at high risk, medically manage until uh, off-island angiography is needed. One of our challenges, of course, uh, in this uh, high-risk group that is uh, large in numbers is uh, in the near future, chances are we won't be able to do angiography. Because angiography really, uh, you know, that's where you uh, inject a dye and it goes uh, into the heart and, and through uh, special uh, x-ray you can see the, uh, the movement of the dye uh, through the heart and, and uh, determine whether the, a patient has uh, uh, a severe cardiovascular disease. Well. Uh, to do that, uh, you would need a backup of cardiovascular surgeons in case something goes wrong. So once in a while something goes wrong with angiography. And uh, angiography, if you say you go to Taiwan, on call is a cardiovascular surgeon who will, who will come in immediately and uh, uh, open up the chest of the person if there's a problem uh, with the angiography. So we just don't have that capacity in Palau. We're too small. And, I think in the near future, I don't think we, sh uh, we can expect to do that, but I could be wrong, but uh, I think that's uh, going to be true. But at any rate, we can at least uh, identify those uh, patients who are most at risk, and then when they come back from, say, Taiwan or Manila, and they've had their angiography or have had their uh, blood vessels uh, repaired or they've had stents put in, uh, we can provide special post-cardiac clinics in which uh, hopefully we, they won't have to go back to uh, uh, off-island again uh, for their cardiac disease. Now, uh, this one uh, I think is self-evident now, the orthopedics, uh, particularly secondary and tertiary care, uh, the priority uh, should be to supply equipment and supplies for our new local orthopedist uh, to care for orthopedic cares, the cases on island. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I met with uh, the, the Canvas Back orthopedic team and I met with one of their uh, orthopedic specialists uh, from uh, uh, Kauai in uh, the state of Hawaii. And uh, I asked him uh, blunt, I said, how, how, how is the skills of our new uh, orthopedic surgeon? And he said, they're quite good. 
And so yeah, I think it's paramount for uh, the ministry and now then the new authority, maybe with the help of uh, the healthcare fund, which uh, did help, say, fund Canvas back uh, so that uh, we could decrease off island uh, medical referrals. I think this is very, uh, this is what they call the low hanging fruit. If we provide the uh, uh, equipment and supplies and get the, the C arm x ray fixed and whatever else is needed uh, for this uh, 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 orthopedic uh, surgeon uh, to do his job, I think we can uh, substantially cut down on uh, orthopedic cases uh, going off to. Uh, uh, Taiwan or, or Manila, which is the third uh, largest uh, group of uh, uh, patients, or uh, quite either cost-wise, uh, uh, to be uh, referred off island. Okay, and that's been discussed. Uh, this is uh, not all new information. At all we've been discussing uh, the, these kinds of opportunities over the years. Um, and then uh, finally, uh, as I've said, uh, I think that uh, 1116 is a reasonable roadmap for the authority to follow. So. I thought the, the law was quite good in its uh, pro progression forward. I have, you know, of course I have a lot of questions, but, uh, but at least it, uh, it's something that I could recognize that uh, was a very thoughtful uh, approach uh, to uh, what is a complex uh, uh, problem. Uh, question number nine, how do you propose improving and reducing the cost of off-island medical referrals for Palauan residents? Well, uh, three examples, and I'll probably uh, be repeating myself for the the leading causes for off-island referral is cancer and, and specifically gynecological diseases. So one, one of them would be to address what are some of the causes of gynecological disease and how can they uh, be prevented. And I'll, I'll spare you reading that whole uh, 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 paragraph there. But um, again, uh, is the, the, this, the suggestion in, uh, for, that we set up a uh, chemotherapy unit to cut down on the uh, uh, amount of time that people have to be off island by providing chemotherapy here in uh, Palau. Orthopedics, uh, same, again, I've already d uh, discussed it. We need to uh, uh, support and provide the supplies and uh, uh, equipment uh, for our new uh, orthopedist and do whatever it takes to keep him on island to uh, make this a sustainable uh, uh, a position for him that he likes Palau and, and that uh, we provide him the wherewithal <clears throat> where he can uh, really, uh, at the maximum, uh, provide services and not only uh, benefit the people of Palau, but cut down on the number of off-island uh, medical referrals due to uh, orthopedics. And then one I didn't mention was uh, the gastroenterology. It's the fourth, fourth most expensive off-island expense in uh, 2022. And we can ensure that the uh, gastroenterology service uh, has the equipment, supplies, and trained personnel and pathology backup it needs to cut down on off-island medical referrals for GI disease. And I, you know, uh, I think you're all familiar that Dr. Uh, 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 Myra Adelby uh, has been really coming along and maturing as a gastroenterologist here in Palau. So she really needs the the supplies and the equipment and backup and perhaps, uh, and, and, and the pathology backup. I think that's one of the rate limiting steps is she, she can take out tumors, uh, say from the, uh, uh, the lower gut, but those tumors really have to uh, be looked at right away by a pathologist. So otherwise we have to send them off island to have the pathologist look at it. Or maybe we could send just the tissue samples off island. Okay, depending upon, uh, I think, the uh, acuity of the disease. Okay, uh, number 10, what are your ideas for human resources procurement and development specifically for secondary care and specialty services in Palau, uh, Palau's healthcare system? Okay, I'll just read. If there is still sufficient appetite to train Palauans to man health uh, service positions throughout the Republic, then the uh, uh, Beilau National Hospital Authority should vigorously commit to working with the Ministries of Health and Education and Palau Community College to develop and strengthen STEM. Uh, STEM is what? Science, technology, uh, engineering, and math programs at all levels to increase math and science literacy. Develop uh, elementary school science and 
health clubs and specifically support Palau High School's Health Pathways uh, Program uh, and uh, PCC's Nursing and Public Health Programs and the Bureau of Public Health Programs to train frontline health and mental health uh, workers. The authority should promote uh, Belau National Hospital as a locus of training uh, of, for learning, particularly for entry-level programs in nursing and allied health. With time, negotiations should be made to rotate resident physicians from Triple Army Medical Center. There's been lots of discussion in the past for that to happen, and uh, uh, for one reason or another, it hasn't happened. And other U.S. medical centers uh, through uh, the services at BNH. In other words, have uh, resident physicians who are highly trained, and uh, have them rotating through the services in Palau. And uh, uh, when Palau becomes a training center, okay, that's when uh, the the best services are provided uh, for the people of the Republic. Uh, the authority should follow up with PCC to strengthen again its relationship with Fiji National University College of Medicine, Nursing, and Health Sciences with a view to explore establishing and strengthening allied health training and medical school training at Beilau National Hospital. Myra Adelby is an example of a graduate of uh, uh, Fiji National University uh, uh, Faculty of Medicine. In other words, uh, that's what the uh, uh, F F F Fiji Medical School became, uh, FNU, uh, and uh, I mean, and she's an extraordinary person. If we can get people like her trained uh, through uh, Fiji National University and uh, to come back to Palau and do their internship here and then go uh, back to either Fiji or the Philippines uh, to do their residency training, I think that would be a big help. I might add, just so I, I, I don't, people don't think that I'm uh, ignoring them. The graduates uh, from Cuba came back and did their internship uh, here, and I must say that the four that graduated from the internship program are doing a very good job uh, in their uh, residency uh, program here in Palau. And regardless of uh, the reason why they were trained, uh, you know, they were saying, come back and be uh, public health physicians and this and that, I tell you, they're hot property. And uh, they're very well trained, and uh, so the ministry and and then the authority, I hope, has a, a say in, in what are the next steps uh, for uh, training these very able uh, physicians uh, here in Palau. And there's more in the pipeline. So when they come back, there's the opportunity to skill them up, get them to the point that we are satisfied with their uh, uh, a level of uh, uh, their uh, service, and then uh, put them to work and then think about how we can, what kind of further training they might need so to uh, serve uh, back here in the, in the uh, Republic. The last thing we want to do, and uh, not everybody agrees with me of course, is we don't want to train them up so that they can go off island to America and help the poor people of America. The whole idea of us spending our money and blood, sweat, and tears to train them up is to have them here working in Palau. And I think we have to take good care of them so they feel that they're, uh, you know, loved and they're valuable uh, entities uh, for uh, the Republic of Palau. Okay, uh, end of my uh, paid political announcement, sorry. Um, so, um, the authority, uh, so the authority should promote uh, a Beilau National Hospital as a, as a locus of, of training, and I think we'll all benefit uh, when that happens. There's been a lot of training in the past. Maybe the uh, Dr. Quante knows about it, but I, I don't think most of the Republic knows about how we set up our internship programs, we set up uh, residency uh, training uh, programs, and then uh, we've had interns and residents from other uh, medical schools and uh, medical centers rotating uh, through uh, Beilau National Hospital, and we've benefited uh, every time. Okay. Um, the authority should explore closer ties with Philippine medical centers and medical centers in Taiwan, and now Singapore, because of our new uh, 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 flights, that which will be going to Singapore, uh, for training of uh, staff from Beilau National Hospital. Number 11, could you provide some preliminary insight into the logistical challenges that may arise during the separation of responsibilities, uh, such as funding and contracting between 
uh, public health sector in the hospital. Uh, I, I, at the moment, most of the f grants, where, wherever they come from, reside uh, with public health. So they have a lot of money, but that's not exactly discretionary money. It, uh, the, uh, to receive money, say, from the federal government for this and that, uh, the uh, rules and regulations are quite strict on how that money can be spent. So it's not like uh, they can share it uh, at, at will, say, with uh, uh, the, the hospital. Uh, the areas of common interest, though, have been uh, the pharmacy and uh, the, the laboratory, and, and I might add the, the radiology department, so that both public health and uh, the hospital have been utilizing those services. And so we don't have two pharmacies, uh, basically, uh, uh, you know, a national pharmacy for the hospital and a public health pharmacy uh, yet, okay? I, I'm not sure whether that's going to happen or not. Uh, and we don't, we don't have uh, several laboratories, at least there's one laboratory and some uh, uh, minor, uh, smaller laboratories in the uh, uh, CHC uh, uh, clinics uh, throughout uh, the, uh, Palau. But uh, it's mostly, uh, you know, centered at the, the large uh, laboratory. But uh, the x-ray uh, facility mostly is lim uh, limited to the, to the hospital. So, those are still areas which might continue to be shared by public health and, and the Ministry of Health and uh, uh, the hospital. And I think uh, that's where, uh, you know, the board is going to sit down with the Ministry of Health and uh, discuss about where the rubber hits the road on, on what should be divided and what should, is there a possibility uh, that uh, certain uh, things can be shared like the pharmacy or uh, the laboratory or, or whatever. Um, uh, there are other sources of uh, grants, and you know we, we've got uh, we've had a generous uh, 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 benefactor from uh, the government of Taiwan. Uh, there is a potential, uh, you know, from uh, uh, the, uh, the government of Australia and and European Union and etc. Uh, there's also the opportunity of. Uh, looking at uh, uh, the opportunities that can be provided by the Asian Development Bank. They have these things called uh, PBL, Policy-Based Loans, in which the loans are, uh, it's almost like free money, not exactly, but uh, at least it, there's opportunities uh, in the future, particularly as it relates to the, um, the, the relocation of the uh, new hospital. Okay. Um, and then, of course, there's the World Bank and uh, uh, other programs. Uh, the Department of Interior, I think, will continue to play us a, a very helpful role uh, with the Republic of Palau, uh, particularly with their technical assistance uh, programs, and then there's a maintenance assistance uh, program. Uh, technical assistance programs aren't that difficult to get, but the minister did confide to me that he, he attempted to get a uh, TAP uh, program uh, to help with the uh, transition, but uh, uh, didn't succeed. Well, uh, he's going to give us a copy, and uh, I was uh, told uh, by uh, Kevin O'Keefe and others that they would assist us in, in maybe uh, putting together a TAP grant, which might fund uh, a uh, implementation uh, plan and a transition uh, plan on the short term with the view that uh, looking at uh, resources for the, the longer term. Um, number 12, uh, what role do you envision for the healthcare fund in, in funding the operations of the hospital in Plow's healthcare system? Well, uh, I was uh, had the opportunity to go speak with uh, uh, Keith Tong, the administrator over at uh, uh, the healthcare fund before she went on leave. and. Uh, uh, I did get a copy of the report, which the uh, uh, the director of uh, the Social Security uh, uh, fund uh, uh, presented at the hearings uh, what, a week ago or, or so. And uh, just w one of the things that is very clear to me is the it, the the graph that they showed uh, the line of the where uh, the um, uh, the contributions, which is a blue line there, I know you can't see it, but 
uh, and the the orange is the uh, the expenses line. Well, the blue line used to be above the expenses line, and now it's coming together and coming together. And so for uh, 2021, uh, 22, and 23, uh, they're they're uh, even, and now the orange line, the expense line, is going above the blue line, which represents uh, contributions. So. You know we're spending more than we're uh, bringing in, all right. And that and if you, that's just for NHI. Sorry, I should have said NHI in the beginning. But then if you think about the MSA, same thing is happening. Uh, and that uh, as of uh, 2021, 22, and 23, uh, the uh, expenses now are equaling or exceeding uh, the contributions. So the healthcare fund really isn't in a it's in a uh, still can play a, a very significant role in helping to fund uh, not only off island medical referral, but uh, uh, inpatient uh, 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 you know uh, costs, and then of course the MSA is uh, addresses uh, outpatient both for the uh, private clinics and for uh, the out outpatient department at the hospital, which that money uh, generally goes to the. Uh, CDC, uh, I mean uh, CHC. Sorry. Okay. So um, I I can see that, that the healthcare fund playing a role in helping with uh, continuing off-island uh, medical referral. Now, if we can decrease uh, the numbers of off-island medical referral, then uh, perhaps the uh, uh, the contribution line will then begin to go above uh, the expenses line, and uh, we'll uh, be saving money. Etc. So we've already discussed some of the ways uh, that that can be done, and of course, there's the overall discussion of about uh, strengthening uh, the uh, our capacity, our uh, good business practices, so that uh, can uh, increase our efficiencies uh, in our uh, management and save money. Uh, so uh, that can happen. But one of the issues, of course, at the hospital is. Uh, I guess by law there's a, a, flat, a sliding fee scale, okay, which then brings down the, the cost uh, for the uh, patient. And then you only have to pay 60% of that. So it's even lower. So, you know, the Beilau National Hospital, as you know, buys its supplies from the same places as uh, hospitals in the U.S. and it has to pay top dollar, uh, just like everybody else. And then they bring it to Palau and they can't recover those costs, and those costs are, of course, supported uh, by the uh, budget that's extended to it uh, by uh, the National Congress. So, uh, uh, one, uh, the health care fund is not going to be the savior of uh, uh, operational costs uh, for uh, uh, Beilau National uh, Hospital and the authority. So, that, that's my... Uh, Analysis, and I, I, you know, I'd be glad to be uh, proven wrong. Uh, at any rate, uh, the the data is there uh, to look at, and so uh, one of the uh, things that'll be uh, paramount is to cut down on uh, off-island medical referral costs, and and some of those savings hopefully uh, can be applied to the operational costs and the improved efficiencies and good business practice uh, with within the hospital. Um, Okay, uh, I talked about how we, uh, we could save money uh, by the chemotherapy unit, uh, orthopedics capacity, uh, I talked about that, uh, supporting the strengthening of the gastroenterology unit. Uh, now, emergency equipment purchases and repairs, uh, I've sort of lost track on how the hospital trust fund works uh, and, or if it's still viable. So uh, I'm not sure whether that uh, can pay for emergency equipment purchases and repair, or whether it's still uh, just committed uh, for buying uh, pharmaceuticals uh, and the like. So I'd have to, I have to bone up in that in information. Um, one one uh, thing is the pharmacy, the the fund, the fund, the healthcare fund, might uh, uh, support. Uh, the expense of post-hospitalization medications uh, to be ordered, uh, uh, which could be ordered by the uh, BH Pharmacy from WHO approved uh, uh, vendors. So there are uh, patients that come back from, uh, say, Taiwan, and they're 
prescribe these uh, very expensive exotic medicines. Uh, and uh, so um, perhaps it'll, in the future, it'll be easier for uh, these uh, uh, medicines to be purchased in Palau at cost. Uh, okay. Uh, number 13, in your opinion, uh, how can regional, federal, and international organizations assist in the separation and improvement of Palau's healthcare system, whether through the technical assistance, uh, support, or other means? Uh, I wrote, uh, I think that timely uh, development of an operational and transitional plan may be beyond the current capacity of the uh, MHHS personnel. And I think the board should c consider the uh, the following uh, to address that. And I mean that in a kind way, it's not a criticism, but you know, after the minister, if you look at within the depths of uh, the current uh, hospital, uh, there just isn't the uh, robustness in terms of uh, uh, planning, writing, grant writing, et cetera, like there is at public health. Okay, public health is just replete with uh, st uh, strengths of uh, being able to write grants and uh, develop plans. Okay, so um, the, I think the, the board will have to look, the authority will have to look at this and see how it can address it. And there are some ways to do that. So after communicating with appropriate agencies and in conjunction with the minister, the board uh, should see if the following agencies can assist the board and uh, uh, the ministry in developing both operational and transitional plans. There's OIA, I mentioned that, there's the, you know, the TAP funding and the MAP is really for equipment. Uh, the ADB, uh, in terms of there's an Asia Pacific uh, project preparation uh, facility funding, which uh, may help for the run up uh, with the relocation of the hospital. There's ASTO, uh, they can help, and the minister has already tapped them to help him with a, uh, it sounds like, implementation plan. And uh, PIHOA, uh, uh, which I used to work for, but uh, PIHOA has been a little bit weak on the uh, hospital support uh, services uh, side. Uh, they've been very uh, uh, robust, I think, on the public health side. I think they're trying to realize that there are, you know, there are hospitals which need help in, in the region, so they are duty bound to assist, and so hopefully they will be more of a help uh, in the near future. Okay. So, uh, at 14, uh, are there any other pertinent issues and recommendations that you'd like to discuss at this time? Mr. Chairman, I've been thinking about all this, and there's a lot of questions that I have, and I'm sure any of the the new uh, 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 nominees uh, might have. And my suggestion would be is that once the, the board is uh, constituted, uh, that uh, we actually meet with the, the chairs of the health committees and ask them their, what's their vision under the law so that uh, we don't waste time uh, you know, going down the wrong track and, and, and developing what's necessarily uh, our vision. I know this is supposed to be an independent uh, authority, uh, but uh, you know, even though it says independent authority, it's within the executive branch of the, uh, of the president's office. Uh, it, uh, with a lot of the steps that initially we'll have to take will need the approval of OEK and this and that. So uh, to me, it's a good idea to develop uh, very good relations with the a national Congress right away and, and just ask the blunt questions like, you know, what is it that you see? It, it, what is your vision uh, of uh, our PPL 11-16? Uh, so uh, with that, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I'm glad to take any questions. Uh, I'll do my best. So I, Dr. Deber, I'll Dr. Deber, Aman Masula. I think in um kokoram la explain at the healthcare system and mo so we can understand the, what's really going on eh ma 
Aquí me están algo así. We have gira el morgia a su morgia authority. There it has to be uh, share the services. You mentioned the pharmacy, radiology, laboratory, and I think maybe procurement, procurement services. Uh, something that maybe you should uh, put with uh, the share the uh, services to so we can benefit from the economies of scale in the purchasing of uh, equipment and um, medicine and supplies for the hospital. Um, the mal our, our hospital uh, uh, like you said, the cell hospital trust fund uh, is not really um, doing what we were, what we probably intended it uh, to be, because uh, because of the sliding scale, and because we cannot uh, go after patients when they do not pay. So the hospital trust fund is not. Uh, collecting at the level that supports the, the cost of the medicine and the operations of, of the hospital. You, so, um, you, you said a lot of things about um, who can help us with this transition. And the, I think the law is clear, it clearly says we have to hire a, the board has to hire an administrator for the hospital. And uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, um, there's uh, agencies that may help us with the cost of the transition. Uh, like uh, you mentioned the TAP, the MAP, ADB, ASTRO, PIHOA, um, assistance like that. My question is, how about considering a private hospital to come and um, do the administrative, uh, take over the hospital and uh, run it and fix it, and then we can look at it and how to, what do you think about that? I mean, like for example, the board can hire, a, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sure my ideas are not always, uh, but um, like the Singkong Hospital, or a Japanese hospital, or a um, Singapore hospital, or um, a, a hospital that has been running um, with uh, staff, qualified staff, and uh, doing well, they can probably come and take over the hospital and run it and then we see how it works and then we, we take over from there. I mean, just an idea, but what do you think about that? I think it would be uh, initially very expensive. Um, the question would be who pays for it? Okay, that's... And it could be done through a foreign assistance, foreign aid, uh, on a short-term basis uh, like that, except. Um, I think it would be a, a daunting challenge for someone uh, from the outside to come over and take over our, our hospital and, and then be uh, ac accepted uh, by uh, the population. Uh, I just fear that uh, there'd be a lot of complications I don't know, maybe it would work. I, I think that the key will be uh, the hospital administrator. But uh, the hospital administrator like also has to have a support staff uh, that will uh, help him. You know, it'll be like a, a general turns around and behind him are all, all privates, you know, and the general ends up doing all the work. And so we got to make sure that that doesn't happen, and that uh, a hospital administrator gets the support that he he needs. And you know the depth just isn't there at the the 
the hospital at the, at the moment. If you would ask me about public health, public health has depth, okay? The hospital does not. And so we, we, if, when we set up the administrator, he has to have support services. And uh, I don't see the budget for the hospital on the short term uh, going down. I think that a lot of the, the recommendations that we'll probably make is going to increase the budget of the hospital. And the question will be, wh where will that be born? And what I could look at just two examples of failure uh, in the region. Uh, one is uh, the ongoing challenges that uh, uh, Guam Memorial Has Hospital had over the years. And I, I worked there back in the 80s. And I, I mean, nothing really changed for a long time. Unfortunately, now it's doing much better. OK, I, I don't, hope I don't get emails from all my uh, friends on Guam. but. Um, really, uh, it was political, it was under, underfunded, and so that's not the kind of model we want to get into. The second is in CNMI. The um, Corporation for Healthcare uh, there, uh, though it, it was a model of both uh, public health and the hospital together, uh, they were separated from the government and then the umbilical cord was cut without them having uh, built up uh, the capacities uh, for collection, even with Medicare and Medicaid, which is capped, in, which was capped, I don't know if it still is in the, in the CNMI. So they immediately went into failure, and they failed for about three years. And the, the uh, federal government had to come in because it had a sizable number of, of uh, uh, U.S. physicians that were uh, working for the U.S. Public Health Service there and this and that. So it was, it was uh, a self-induced era. They shot themselves in the foot. So uh, our hospital here is too precious. Uh, and so I, I'm not sure what the next steps are. I mean, if someone was asking me, what are you going to do? I said, well, we're going to get together. And we're going to take a look at an implementation plan, which will really give us more information on, on how we can uh, proceed. Whether uh, I don't want a plan that says you're going to succeed or not. That's actually. Uh, we're, we're, this is the law, and we're going to move forward, okay? And we're going to look for the resources that can make us su succeed. We can look at some of the challenges in the region in which other jurisdictions did not s succeed or had trouble over time, but, and I might add, the CNMI is doing much better now, okay, under the leadership of, uh, excellent leadership. So, um, uh, I guess the mo most honest thing for me to say is I, I on honestly don't know. But that's an idea we can consider, you know, uh, that uh, we, we get help from the outside. I think we're going to need help from the outside. I don't see anybody within Palau who has the experience uh, to uh, be a, a hospital administrator, but I might be wrong. Okay, I'd like to be wrong. And if we could identify who that person is, and we're going to have to pay them, okay? It's not going to be a, a sliding fee scale and 60% of that, you know what I mean? We're really going to have to pay if we're going to get a good expertise in Palau. And, and of course, when you do that, it causes big trouble. And, and you know, then everybody wants to take a look at the, you know, the, you know, the, the uh, salary, uh, uh, scales, you know, for all the uh, uh, personnel, etc. Hopefully, we'll be free of. We can design a, a program where we're free of. Uh, we can set our own salaries, you know, within the hospital, you know, etc. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming we have the the freedom to do that, but uh, I guess I'd have to ask. You know. Yeah. Let me. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, let me just uh, reply to that because. First of all, the, you know, when we did, uh, uh, when we reviewed the bill, we actually went and reviewed the transition report from uh, uh, His Excellency Surang Luis Jr. and his uh, statement on the transitional report. And this is what he said, exploring the hospital services as a semi-autonomous entity. So we know that that came from that level. And the RPPL 11-16, uh, that's a legislative amend, uh, amendments. As part of this transition plan, 
the ministry and authorities shall submit recommendations to the president and OEK for proposed legislative changes necessary to effectuate the transfer of authority over the hospital from the ministry from the ministry to the authority including but not limited to proposed legislative changes related to administration management of the hospital trust fund uh, such a legislative amendment may have effective dates and so on and so on. So if the sliding fee scale need legislative amendments to, to take a look, this is the provision of the law that says those need to come from the implementation plan that in order for us to implement. These laws need to be amended. Uh, Senator Mario. On the man so long, Doctor Chairman Manla, the other Miss Hitta, what already got the Sia Zume, the Gardil was Sigra and Contractor Selmo, Sabino implemented Tel Tel Zume. A radical man will sing him now, Bruta Malbatol Rurm, the little man to rounding Unbada Segel. Hospital I did him like a dozen more healer, other the Omar Satir, more hospital at the Galaro. Matel and eight am legirel, more addresses say it. The Umasriel at time to the Real Marem Hospital and Medical Nability. Tomeo will build a biller or other more of Guru, more of a last service hospital. I want to say that I am Maran was songs from Tel Moktegal Telbado, the Lakin Mora Adority. O Messiah Rogu will want to sell Tel Hospital Marin at that time. Was a year of the Grangi, I tell the other ticket, let's bet the address I gave the Rogun was on sale. Mahum Rala say, I give the last bet the address I give Namadunga say, to the more amend the land, more improve I get Gumia Masamam rule, Matel sliding fee schedule, all on several other was him to give the Hukma Saudi at three Moria Marma, Wadra Moria Arala Guru Tir. Nigumas I get the regal spell the Chancellor Lalu Quasi. Instead of the Sukum and the other lead them Tilomusa, Haral Melor Troll, Mario Arale, Lagal Brigaver, I get Ram Girel, Mo, Government, I get a lot of the Gil, who was after the deal, more I get career or other Tira Momalai. Almost I give the last bit of Mokrum. Mal, Mal, but I get the issue in the Jomra, a Selbom, Morum Labor, the Melia Planner of Mil May. I get a Momis, I get one more and some self books, Pedro, I say, Clever Spedal Mot, I get the land more improved, they get. Partra, Mahmal de Mira Sulem Raigal, Hensil Gonmegal, Germselo Sulem Girel Tegi de Lurre, Toktam Sula. Let me just say a few things. Collection has always been our problem, and uh, so you're right, uh, we need to uh, tighten up on that. Um, I'm wondering if uh, in the future, uh, with uh, legislation, we can increase the collections uh, of uh, uh, the healthcare fund. Uh, because it looks to me at the moment they're at max for both the MSA and uh, the NHI, so that uh, if we can uh, reduce the number of off-island medical referrals, et cetera, and at the same time increase uh, the number of collections, uh, then we can actually increase uh, the uh, sliding fee scale and, and begin to uh, come close to what the, the real costs are. But I mean, it's there, it's committed in the constitution that uh, that uh, you know we uh, subsidize or subsidize or or, or free the uh, uh, healthcare services. But if we're going to have a viable hospital, I think we need to begin to collect and see if we can approximate the real costs of of uh, operating the hospital. Yeah. 
la mo atterra ye lurol tira mamrul mo mo se seguida dire la ye ya dire el sol mo sa seguida el pleno que me amo mucli yo duro que ma presidente ma mir olvida la seguida ye mo mangar le la olvida el lugar bo si o do do abo start up pero te ye del adoriti ma cora di pacto mo venga no se mral gire del mo zahara un el adel men mral mrul ye el mral ye el lurol gire el mamrul en gire del mral pe ye el Barriera y el Uri. Tiene que el Gomlebring Abersel, va a ser personal, va a ser el Mourur del Hospital, va a ser el Marseille de Legislative Amendments, en el Mourur de la Ministra Musat de la Autoridad. I suppose, va a ser Tigel Tortal, el Mourur del Hospital are going to be highly, highly trained. And therefore, they, they may require a certain level of uh, uh, funding. And there may not be many of them. In fact, there may be actually just 10. I've countered the FTEs and maybe there are 10. But 10 hospitalists. There are not 10 other people. Marianne uh, Bouton. Senator Aldebel. Senator Chairman. <coughs> Doctor de Barak, kung may nasulim regal response ako may gan questionnaire man mayo ra toka ako ra query sa gide hindi ka man mayo ra ngunil elaborate tayo ng questions sa response ako may gan questions mong mal ngunil arong dal al dosal ko ra ngani silbo al ko ra vision ako malubeng ideas ko al mames ngunil going into this new Authority Malubeng Board. Egida, mungkin aku mesti tahu. Apa esel board nama? Balol saya the start trap esel to program Malubeng esel luriorin. Balol ngani ayel unforeseen el aspek tengil modia kalda take into account trial selalak. Mangado aku muda semal close to trial dos perar ada luai kau mal extensive apa experience el kau ratu kau hospital matu kau guru. El direct el modo parte de aquí del borde, el modo se llama el help, el cuando hace ese análisis de aquí del borde con la manzana de la policy, más bien requirement el guía del address a front o el otro expectar a full implementation el tiempo. Ma tiene que mal menos suele mal mal no hemos probado de direct mal tiene que tocar con el hembra, especially sea el our health sector, el digo mal bien el Take a additional effort to look more part of the board. I'm going to say that the director requires membership to take a look at the board. The director is going to have with a legal background, a financial background, and the director is going to have a managerial or some kind of administration background. Regal mal help mang, it will be a pool of the people from different background. Al mo adal tayal board mang kung dasong ngil, a make up mang kaposisyon na adal mo adal tayal board. Di sel maklaw to trail sel tora ug rule. Kung dasong sel goal, underlying goal at yal al kung dasong mola amlas mal rule a a delivery a medical care services a blue below. Almo mungkin mungkin lagi lebih efisien. Osi sil time mendirik al al lebar kualiti la services ma standar dara guru lah lagi bel al sebab almo fokus dara le management ma adra board almo aldil fokus dengan segi del particular tora guru di tora guru. Muat eh kliak public health ma kuk tora guru le almo Kakayak lah. Di, of course, saya kaga kalau kapak pugo yang kira linga tora guru lah. Dia kalau spea yang information public health dah all top deh. Eti lah spea gigi del daerah ma information analyse ata future services lah tora medicine ma medical services. Mak agum agum tapa ngin malmoklo. Tama direct kalau 
itil mongartiang. Hindi ko tukura atin ka magiging represident at possible appoint at tili gal al wal additional members and mong make up or self file al full membership. Of course, sa minister, at tili gal mo minister sa HSS, at tili gal mo ex-officio member, mangyay at tili gal mo o source of information between uh, about the mga uh, ay dalgok nga nga isil during the transition. Hindi ka uh, ako malak ka kung nasing naangungil dire ka ako na kaya nga sil ulcha president na magpal si Malmari at ala ko intra members ako madangil dire ka malmasap kulra at atara al sil pelaw al mora ka higis ang kakaraw sil a lot of time ako damas tira at yung sisula atal nga tokol kakaraw sa board mong hindi rin mo overwhelming and more at ato mong we're hoping at mong siyang masawila presidente kung ka-identify atal tira ko karay gal baby na areas at mong siyang mera sa net at mong siyang edal confirm or tir mong at least at mong siyang kong ulaw riyo at mong siyang from there ang mga gildilu chairman ng yang aku rasa mildas al ngasil al konsep, tapi dari dari lihat konsep tentu sih ayam detail saja dari kita kata salmal al mau realise apa yang dia ayam kuku mal sangat sel, om dah setia lagi dalam board sel tal madro dari setia bol sel bol start al no meeting el discuss la implementation make the way forward, tapi om dah sih ayam mesti ada mau belajar tak pun lagi el el kita dah kaya ngasil mutel improve ala may ginagawa ka baby na area sa ginagawa improve mang ang nakapay ko tiri ko tiri question ng akna sing ngara elat tel tel board daw al di ba ikal pa tel board nungkora compensation ra adra board daw al di fifty dollars per meeting per day considering na ug level ra uriyor ma para de la ang ra Nara kau dah siap beli resen, om dah siap nak pelan mungkin ada tiar fifty dollars, ada ni kalau ramai mungkin tak ketal di, kita nara fifty dollars, nama sa inflation, nama cost of living, ada ni kalau nama sa mungkin ada ni kalau apa, kalau itu kalau mau tak kalsal, lulus insentif aku mukti tu maintain nama ada ni compensation, especially ke ini for high level, nara para di udah siap beli resen. Thank you. Uh, first off, uh, I, not in a million years did I think I would become the face of the, uh, the authority. <laughs> you know, the first off, I was looking around me, where, where's, the, where's the rest of the nominees? Okay, so, uh, uh, yeah, I went over that. You, you know, this is gonna be, uh, to really do this right, it's gonna be a full-time job for a few people. And so uh, I, I think that's where the, uh, maybe the TAP uh, uh, application, et cetera, might uh, deal with the realistic compensation of, uh, of the board and those who are going to help the board. Uh, for example, I'm glad you brought up the spectrum of the board and, and just the uh, you know, to me, there needs to be uh, legal representation on the board because I don't see the uh, attorney general's office uh, doing a lot of the work that's necessary to be done. Uh, they're busy enough doing other things. So uh, I, I, I'm not sure how that's going to be managed, whether it, uh, there'll be an actual board member who's going to put in the time as a, uh, a, a, a you know, as an attorney or whether we hire an attorney on the side to help us when we have specific issues that, and he can advise us uh, over time. So that's a cost. I think uh, looking uh, for people who have the financial and business background, uh, are they willing to put in the time? Uh, you know, it's, is there a, a commitment? I can, I can see my future in the next few years now of, uh, you know, putting in the time and, uh, um, you know, I'm one of those people that doesn't talk about the expenses up front. Uh, you know, we'll try to do what's reasonable so that, you know, 
people don't get upset with the fact that uh, you know uh, you you have this kind of salary or that you know it becomes public discussion, etc. I I'll put in the work and then uh, for me personally we'll see what the <laughs> uh, where's my wife she's gone good <laughs> my wife might get upset <laughs> the fact that I'll put in the time but you're you're pointing out those practical issues I think are quite good and this is something I think when the board comes together. Uh, you know, they'll recognize that the, here's a law, there's many laws in Palau which are passed that don't have a budget. And if it's going to have a budget, it's got to be from the efforts of the people on the, if there's a committee associated w with the law, uh, they'll come back and make, a, a, you know, a, a good faith uh, a proposal uh, to the OEK uh, for appropriate funding. Okay. I think that's probably what will happen. Okay. and. Uh, on the short term, if we can get some funding, which is accepted by the minister and accepted by the president, because the TAP funds, the TAP applications have to be signed off by the chief executive, uh, that uh, perhaps that's a short term uh, thing that uh, we can have to help fund the process. And then, uh, as, the as the law says, we can submit a budget, which will go to the unified budget, which would include uh, the issues of uh, compensation for the board. Clearly, uh, you may have full-time uh, one or two people on the board, but others, uh, uh, board members aren't full-time, but they come together for meetings, you know, et cetera, like that. Um, so I, I see that's how it's going to work in the future. I wish I could say exactly what's going to happen, but that seems to me a reasonable approach. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So long, uh, Dr. Debra responsible the chairman of the mentioned selling. On the Sungu will direct the Koramania Koram will incentive more other more other legal board. Or she said, Time of the Sell at the point of information sell Pachetra Bureau of Hospital in Nara made seven point five to eight million annually. The Mesa record that I get. HEF, I get amount of uh, referral, uh, cost of referral, and more outside of you know, no more than 4 million. So it's about half a uh, uh, cost of uh, referral, uh, uh, half a uh, budget of uh, hospital. I'm not saying, say, you can get more medical information, my name, or message, my signal. Because I'm going to get a lot of people who are going to get a of Island, more more referral cost. Maybe more wiser are invest for specialists that are equipment and are place of editing our bella take care of a ideal sale. Adam was very referred to anymore. Council no will highlight the three main costs are a guru or Adam was Peter of Island referral. El cancer, ma cardio, ma ordo. El basically, como nacen la ordo la sed del no a del men especialista el men la sed el gente le que quiere meter el grupo cada gasta no es el la montra a del mo ordo de expert de gente del team mo Finland de mo con mo y trabajo ludo. Maybe de que tiene el tiene que del especialista el men de perder a, you know. Significant uh, amount of salary on the same as a bill and the regal more offset to say the loable savings is a realizing it below on the same. I get a a paywadi southern red and satial board and more or your most of the by invite travel the men along a the mother other two missing regal. Going forward, we must start the release of operational plan, my implementation and transition hospital. I envision that the board would be here many times uh, speaking uh, with the uh, uh, net, you know, health committees of uh, the Congress. I mean, there has to be a good uh, a rapport between the the board and the uh, the president's office, obviously, but the the national congress, uh, because again, this is new territory uh, f for everybody, and we got to get it right the first time. 
we can't repeat some of the uh, challenges that we've seen in the region. We just can't afford it. Yeah. Thank you. Senator Rudim. Uh, with all those said, being said today, right? Again, you have to do those uh, transition plan um, assessment at the National Hospital. My question is, uh, I'm trying to be uh, very real on this one. What right challenges um, have you seen the current uh, National Hospital? What obstacles to what you have uh, proposed, what uh, you have been proposing, what you wishes or other uh, medical system, what you medical industry? I think we have been repeating our goals here, my wishes are our medical industry. And there are challenges on which the current ministry, law of which the board, the authority, but through this law, hopes to accomplish, but more clearly get the obstacles at this time. Any, do you see any obstacles at this time? Uh, yes, one, I think changing the culture of uh, the hospital uh, to make it uh, uh, take advantage of uh, efficiencies of good business practice uh, is going to be a challenge. Okay, uh, I think that uh, you know just look at our inability over the years, or it's improving, but with regards to collections and how we've fallen behind it, etc. So uh, it's just an example, uh, but it's improving. I, I, I don't want anyone uh, to get uh, upset with my, uh, my comments. There's just a lot of areas uh, for improvement, uh, which I think we can be efficient in, and uh, uh, work ethic uh, uh, can improve. There are a lot of people who are just working flat out and just working really hard. And uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the other is is that they got to feel that they're being uh, they're appreciated for what they do. Uh, I've gone through uh, uh, what f five or six uh, ministers uh, over the years, and uh, the, uh, the ministers all uh, went from you know one area of strength uh, to another, but everybody had their own way of doing things, and there were some ministers who really. Uh, backed up the workers and made them feel that they were valuable and yes people make mistakes but um, there was ministers who didn't let uh, didn't let their workers get beat up you know uh, when they deserved it they got it you know uh, uh, there were problems but uh, uh, there are uh, ministers whom the, the I think the healthcare workers thought now here's a minister that's got my back but then there are other ministers that maybe weren't so, and so it would get uh, a little confusing at times, et cetera. So I think uh, changing the uh, work ethic of the workforce is something that takes time. It's done by example, uh, and it's done by uh, training and, uh, uh, and, and increasing the level of professionalism and certainly uh, confidentiality. So those are still, I think, uh, those are challenges still, but uh, I see it, you know, I've worked in the hospital at least uh, since 1999, before that, you know, I'd come and go. But uh, I, I've got to tell you, that things are just getting better. They really are. I don't, I don't think the population thinks so sometimes. They, you know, they go to gleaming hospitals in Taiwan and Manila, of which patients with their, um, uh, economic uh, a level do not have access to okay uh, you got to be very rich in the Philippines to get access to one of uh, I won't name the hospitals but the hospitals are really tertiary care hospitals I, the the Repub the people in the Republic of Palau are incredibly lucky they have access to those hospitals and it, it maybe sometimes when they come home and they go to uh, Beilao National Hospital and it doesn't live up to their expectations of what they saw in Manila or Taiwan, you know, there's a tendency maybe to look down on the hospital. So, I mean, I don't know how to, to change that overnight. Uh, that, that's going to be 
different. But I can tell you the cleanliness of the hospital has dramatically increased, this, say, since the, the year 2000. Um, I used to do rounds, and uh, I'd have to take with me a bucket of water and, uh, uh, you know, wash my hands between patients and bring my own towels because it, they just didn't exist on the wards. Or maybe there was no water on the wards. But now it's totally different, unless there's an accident. Most of the time, there's water, there's soap, there's towels, and there's an infectious disease nurse who's going around scolding you if you don't do the right thing. You know, so things have improved, uh, but maybe there's, I'll be the first to say there's plenty of room for improvement, okay, still, uh, with regards to the hospital itself. So, uh, y yeah, th that's just one, a couple of examples of uh, some of the challenges that we're going to have to uh, overcome. And some of those are, are really changing the culture of the hospital itself and the, and the staff. So I don't know if I really answered your question, but it's just some examples. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now. I'm sorry, Doctor. There were a German quarter in the shuttle race. I said, I got a number of said that she's stumbling on your frustrations. I'm a medical professional. said, then it comes back to the funding. I said, maybe the maybe that's what HCF will reimburse the National Hospital to become so authority in Mong Sang Sao. Though, it's not a note to say. I think the chairman of the government has said that the government has said that the government has said that the authority of the transition report is more recommended for the leadership. It has been considered that the government has adopted the joint resolution. This question has been Regardless, and the more my plan is there, I think requires a consideration to be approved. The more more, this is all not to say you know, so long after they were. Thank you, President Bowles. Hello, Billy. That's it. Shell, Berga, Rubak, Akmal, Agotru, Ulak, Mereng, Asulela, President, the Motut, Kaul, Mortial, Malklo, Tutlel, Board, Ongerung, Ak. En diálogo era un directo la mal mrena sulem el mogo en el mo a darte al borde. Doctor de Vera, ¿qué es tu respuesta en este cuestionario? Six. Eight. Nine. All the questions that you recommend for improvement for our hospital. Akmal Mareng Asulem le kamesa igel ngarte al hospital el lagal mgat mokleng ta arbsul. That's very important. It's overdue. I gai gider la mention or tiang. And they need to be done right away. Mang esuna esa presidenta arriver el al sils I will send a message to him to appoint uh, the member, additional board member, to be with you. So you can start doing this. We need this right away. I come all over you. I come like Irel Mokr Tel Hospital. Administrator Mongleg Irel the three years ago on Gatmok, but the Agidel Borda Girel Dim Lede Rara. I'm Lame on Gatmok. Like Tim Renga Sulela, Doctor Quarte. Senator El Ulman Kada Masadar Tial El Border El Al Silsa. And it need to be done. Kamamangara special session El Al Time, Mang Akmo, as soon as we finish, I leave, I give a message to his office to appoint the people here right away. I hope in the El Al Rag by December you are. You meet together and start doing this. We cannot wait any longer, uh, Dr. Deber. You know the situation of our hospital today. It's falling apart. I'm not a doctor, I'm a patient, and I can feel it. And it's, uh, it's not only me. The whole Republic of Palau are looking up to the hospital and they need this improvement. And without this board, 
you know, many of our patients are dying. Even the management of the hospital today is not as it should be. You know, I'm saying this not my, not from me. It's from the people of Palau, and you be you've been here long enough to know the situation. And we cannot hide it anymore, and we cannot hold it back anymore. We have to do this right away. So thank you very much for accepting this position, so you can help the people of Palau. Your love for Palau is very important for us. We are your family, and I thank you for give your life for the people of Palau. I thank you for that, and we we need this board as soon as possible. We are running out of time. That's all I can say to you, and I thank you very much for your uh, uh, saying yes to this, to be part of this board, to help the people of Palau. And I thank you for that, Dr. Decker. I'm not the Senator Inabo. Okay, um, Dr. Uh, Dever, thank you very much. So, um, the board is not the board the board the board cannot start the work without a budget, without some permanent staff working for the board, uh, doing, doing, doing all these things that the board has to do in this bill. Is that right, or can you explain uh, maybe how do we approach uh, uh, getting the board to start its responsibilities in this bill? Thank you. Well, first off, I don't think I uh, fully uh, answered your first question, but uh, uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, I think if it's going to move forward, it has to have a budget. Uh, I, I, I say this without uh, uh, trying to be critical, is that um, you know, the, the minister is a very able guy, but when I look at the, the planning capacity that's under him, it's not at the hospital, it's at public health. In fact, uh, when they wrote the uh, TAP uh, uh, grant that they submitted to help fund uh, uh, the transition, and it wasn't approved, um, it, it, he got someone at public health to write it. You know, so it's not, I can just show you that that, that uh, uh, support systems within the hospital itself, uh, they're mostly clinical and they just don't, uh, don't have that administrative capacity to, to, to do this. So it's not like, uh, you know, we, we're supposed to meet with the minister and, and sort out the operational plan and the transition plan, et cetera. But, uh, you know, uh, He'll probably have to bring someone from public health over to meet with us, you know, in truth. So we need to identify someone who's actually going to work for the uh, the authority, okay, and, and help the authority. And, and the minister is going to do his best to make resources available uh, from the hospital. But I, I think that uh, there's going to there needs to be in a budget as soon as possible to develop the support staff to get going. In the budget, the ministry shall provide the authority with all monthly and actual financial statement that detail operational expense of the hospital. The board shall prepare a proposed budget for cost of the transition in its ordinary course of business and shall submit the budget to the president and presiding officers all be Rahululaw. This budget shall also address the compensation of the board and the hospital administrator. This subsection shall be satisfied when funding is allocated in a unified budget. The Dulil was a number of unified budget that we have. I am president of the president of the you know, that we do this. And this is now November. So I think if we if we do the preliminary work in in submit 
de allí del budget de la almohada del medio ni fai o whatever malo en suplemento yeah so the, the sooner the better Eh, Dr. Vera, como se llama el detail, uh, as you know, the, the, the operational, uh, the transition plan will actually talk about the details, uh, the report, and uh, then clear, uh, clear out the swim, and the doctor, the hospital, and the hospital, the hospital, the public health. Ma understand the say the only integral was a cell of the Okra board, a public health, the Malmedel, Mesem Tordam de la Tuan Lebo Morel de la public health. Le understand the Omari, understand the was a woman of the Murutian, Kadam Lamom Saigal, me tucker improvement, the health of Lur Bellau, either did allow tell system mixed, Malaga Telela. Sel mula se HPV vaksin. Senator ini nampak le introduce lah lah masalah HPV vaksin. There is no excuse. Rangan al rebelau, especially the dealer rebelau, to even miss a HPV vaksin. And it doesn't take a law. They said om introduce lah hemophilus influenza vaksin. It didn't take a law. It just took scientific studies. Kau tenak mu. It was in, you know, the leading causes of cancer in women is cancer of the cervix. It doesn't take a lot to actually implement that. Makti duli segit because the sooner hospital mo oroid, etia rogi le sistema mo sabir lo mes ay the critical information. E make sure under tigi the article four watamel al lamal. It's no longer acceptable. Ngal kerbelau, amisra, especially the deal, amisra HPV vaccine. Not this time, not this state, not starting from here and forever. Mugul. Di gel tinggal la Presiden Paulus. Aje aku ramlo, mana orang closing statement terkemam. Makulingi terkau mandu closing statement terkau. Eh, bodo close the hearing. Eh, kamu ramu sulan ne, macam macam terkemam. Uh, it's an honor to uh, have been uh, nominated uh, uh, by the president. Uh, I'm doing my best to get my head around the law. And uh, uh, I think by answering the questions that you posed to me that it helped my uh, thinking uh, quite a bit. Uh, I will, all I can say is uh, w once we get uh, together, I, I know what the mission of the law is. I, I know what the purpose is, and, and it's. I think the steps are clearly laid out in terms of what the process is uh, for the transition itself. Um, I look forward to working with. Uh, I look forward to being uh, uh, confirmed, and I look forward to uh, a meeting with uh, my colleagues on the board uh, to get going. And. Uh, I think uh, the, there are many things that we can do and, and uh, we're only limited uh, by our imagination in truth in terms of uh, funding and, and process and planning, etc. cetera. So uh, I hope that if I come back uh, many times, I can feel the collegiality here now. And I hope uh, I'm in a position to uh, maintain that over time because it would just, uh, it would upset me if we were, uh, you know, trying our best and somehow not living up to the uh, the expectations of the law, which is you know, straightforward. So uh, I thank you uh, very much for being gentle with me, <laughs> and uh, I look forward to uh, uh, meeting with you again. People will say, "But as Mitchell, hearing the doctor the very more other." Bellow National Hospital Authority Board of Directors. Sula. <laughs>